Today, we're going to dig through this box of Funko Pops, and we're going to dig through two or three columns full of Funko Pops. Hello, my YouTube friend. We're back in the office, and I have a little bit of a conundrum. Let me show you what's going on. All right, so here in the back corner that we cleared up last time, I actually had to move 40 or so comic boxes because I had them in another location and they were in the way. I had to move them back here. And uh, it means this whole area is kind of cluttered. Uh, most of the color, though, is these empty drawer boxes. So if I can figure out how to clear out the back wall and get the comic stack, I can actually solve all this problem by having it back there. But to do that, we have to clear out the rest of the Funko Pops that we've been going through. So um, today we're going to just go through a lot of boxes and maybe some of the subscription boxes. I also have this mystery box the open here from bob m in maryland uh just got it a couple days ago i don't know what well i know what i didn't know what it was i opened it up uh and it's actually kind of cool so we'll open it up in a second but let's start going through some of the pops so on the side here i have room for nine more boxes to fit so if i can get rid of at least half of what's here i should have enough room like one column's eight so i can fit one column plus a box on the side and that means I just need to get rid of like a column and a half. And then this will be cleared out mostly. Then I'm going to figure out, I think I can stack some stuff up there. I just got to organize this whole area. All right, this box is Nightmare Before Christmas, which I, I have been getting rid of some. So I think I can get rid of more, but it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. And Harry Potter, you guys know, I like the Harry Potter ones. I'm not rushing to get rid of those. So those are probably all keepers. Okay, let's open up this box. Uh, okay. I do absolutely love Nightmare Before Christmas, so it's like really hard for me to part with them, but I have been parting with them. Uh, I think the rare ones I want to keep. They just make so many. So this is a keeper, because I know that's kind of a rare Sally. Oh, this box is going to be really hard for me. <laughs> uh, Hedwig is definitely a keeper. Pumpkin Jack. I do love pumpkin head you know, characters in general. I think that's a keeper, actually. Uh, this box is going to be really hard. Uh, original Harry Potter. That's a keeper. The Simple Toy Cedric Diggory. That's a keeper. Uh, original Harry Potter reprint. This is when you do reprints correctly. So this one came out in 2015. That's the original. This is a 2020. So they reprinted him five years later. But they made a new box. I think anytime they do a reprint, they really should do a new box. Just so it... Um, Keeps the original one collectible, but allows new collectors still to get the figure. Okay, we have uh, Gilroy Lockhart. That's a keeper. Uh, Snowman Jack. I can get rid of that one. Okay, one done. <laughs> uh, Behemoth's going to be a keeper, though. All the rare ones I want to keep. Uh, Pajama Jack. Uh, I'm going to check it. If this one is like over 50, I'll keep it. If it's under, I'll sell it. That's a hard one. Uh, Hot Topic, Oogie Boogie. I love this one, but I think I can let that one go. I just feel like all the Nightmare Before Christmas ones are, um, you know, they make a lot of them. And I don't think any of them will be nostalgic for kids. Most of these were, you know, the 30-year-olds I grew up with the movie were buying them. Uh, this one's awesome, though. I think I'm going to keep that one. Oh, this is hard. This is very hard. Very hard box. Okay, this one. Uh, Dr. Finkelstein. This is the one where his head opens up. I love this one. I think I'm going to keep that one too, actually. Just because it's just a neat, neat pop. Uh, Jack Skeleton holding the snowflake. I think uh, 2014. I'm going to keep that one because it's an older one. Uh, zero. This one's 2015. Uh, I think I'm going to let him go just because his box is damaged. So maybe if I replace them later on, I'll be able to do it and get a better box. Uh, Hot Topic Exclusive Sally 2014 as well. Oof. I think I'm going to keep that one just because it's older. Older ones will be the ones that are the hardest to replace later. Uh, Dumbledore is a definite keeper. Okay, this box is not being very productive. I kind of knew it was not going to be productive. Uh, Seamus Finnegan's a keeper. Just as soon as I saw it with Harry Potter, I was like, okay, this is going to be hard. We got, oh yeah, Comic-Con exclusive, Jack and Vampire Teddy 2015. That's a keeper. That was the uh, first time I went to New York Comic-Con for that one. Uh, Neville Longbottom, what is this, 2016, that's a keeper. I'm keeping all my Harry Potter. I'm not even going to think about it. Okay, let me clear these down. All right, this is very difficult. Uh, this one I think I can let go. This one's 2008, yeah, this is a later one. So Diamond Jack, that one I can let go. 
I feel like the newer ones will always be easier to replace. Whereas, you know, these ones, they didn't make as many back then. And a lot of people just didn't appreciate them. So they didn't get kept in protectors and whatnot. Yeah, I got clear. Yeah, let's see what we got. Uh, Percival Graves, that one can go. I don't mind getting rid of the Fantastic Beasts because I don't connect with them as much. Uh, Tina Goldstein, I really like this one. But that one I think I can let go. We got uh, Bloody Baron, that's a keeper. 2018? Yeah, that's a keeper. Is this old or new? Old? Oh, yeah. Seated Sally. Absolutely love that one. That's a keeper. That one is awesome. Uh, Day of the Dead, Jack Skellington, 2014. That's a keeper. That's a rare one. That's a rare one. And, uh, ooh, Oogie Boogie, 2014. I think I have to keep that. I don't know if these 2014 ones have a lot of value. I just think they would be super hard for me to replace. And I just, like, I... This set is one set would be one of the first sets I think I would put back together if I ever had the space to do it. Okay, you know what? That box actually was not that bad. I still ended up getting rid of seven. I think that's a success. For a box like this, definitely a success. Okay, let's grab the next box. This box is really light. It had some pops written on the side, but I think I just put some other toys in it. Doesn't feel like pops. Uh, oh yeah, just a couple of my dolls. Per my doll collection, we got... um. The junior high rainbow high all right this is still a factory case that's sealed from the uh, monster high hall holiday love edition dolls i think it's just a set of two dolls that's sealed i never opened it up i left it sealed we have a uh, rainbow high doll she's really pretty really beautiful doll i really like these rainbow high dolls i think these will have a lot of collector value in like 10 15 years i think this set is super popular right now and we have this lovely rainbow high who is this this is uh sabrina just the sets the dolls lovely it comes with a lot of really cool accessories i know this is the kind of thing that there's not going to be a lot left in the box because most people that buy dolls rip them open and display them on the shelf dolls don't really get kept in the box that often that's why i like collecting them because I think they're beautiful. I like collecting them because of that, but I also like collecting them because I know, in general, dolls just gain value. At least in the last 20 years, dolls have become a very collectible uh, toy line. So that's why you see a lot in my collection. All right, let's go through that box. It says rock candy, so I think that's a full keeper box. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, this is all rock candies for the most part. Maybe one or two other items in here, like I see a Kari. I absolutely love this line. I have an almost complete set. I, there might be like five to ten more that I need. That's amazing. So we have uh, Evil Lynn. We're going to go through all these just because they're super fun. We have the uh, Margo Tenenbaum from the Tenenbaums. That was a Comic-Con exclusive. I don't know if any of these have any value, uh, but I love collecting them. We have Amy Pond. And I, I'm pretty sure most of these are pretty low print runs. Uh, Maleficent. Dark Phoenix. That one's awesome. Lord Voldemort. That's a cool villain one. We have Ari L from uh, Wreck It Ralph. I love that line where they're all dressed up in their casual outfits. Uh, Albus Dumbledore. We have a bombshell Starfire. Absolutely love this one. This one's limited to 3,000 pieces. I believe Cheryl got me that one. She picked it up for me and I gave her the money for it from, um, what was it, the Emerald City Comic Con that year. So it was really nice of her to help me get that. Uh, Moana is awesome. I love this one. We have the, the Lydia from Beetlejuice. That one's awesome. I think that one actually has a bit of value. We have Amy Pond. This is the actual con sticker instead of the shared sticker. We have Rapunzel from Wreck-It Ralph. I think it's really cool that they did all the Disney princesses from Wreck-It Ralph. Jasmine. Super cool. I don't know why. Oh, oh okay. Now that I notice, there are pops in here, but it looks like Grail pops. A Dark Phoenix, that's a keeper. And Cruella de Vil's a keeper. If I end up keeping everything, though, I'm not going to be upset about it. Because this looks like really good stuff in here. Uh, Elastigirl, Barnes & Noble exclusive. Uh, Belle from Beauty and the Beast, the Wreck-It Ralph version. Love it. Those are amazing. We have Alice in Wonderland. Alice, that's awesome. We have Spider-Gwen. See, something like Spider-Gwen, I think this will have long-term value just because of how popular the uh, Into the Spider-Verse movies are, and she's such a big character in that. And that's contemporary to the time. 
uh Hikari, I'm keeping all those even though like it's not my favorite just being an unpainted version still like it uh you know what Kingdom Hearts little uh keychains those I can sell okay found my one item <laughs> okay what do we got we got Zorak that's a keeper his box is damaged sadly but that's a keeper don't want to get rid of that one uh this is super awesome we have the Rocketeer limited to 480 pieces the patina version this is one of my all-time favorite pops um at the time i bought this when did this come out 2013 i think i bought this in 2015 so think about it, it came out in 2013 i bought it two years later from gemini collectibles it was still on their website for 15 dollars or whatever it means a 480 piece limited edition pop that's june 2013 so was that two years later Two years later, it was still on their website. They hadn't sold out. That showed you how not as popular Pops were in 2015, that you could still have a piece this limited that wouldn't instant sell out. It would actually literally sit on the site for two years. That just, it blows my mind. Now, that's an expensive part. I think that's over 100 bucks. Uh, it might be going... It might be going up with all the Dave Stevens hype that's going on right now, since that's his character. Absolutely love that Pop. Uh, Kevin from The Leftovers, that one can go. I did enjoy the leftovers, but I didn't enjoy it so much. I need to keep it. Uh, Rick Bobby from Talladega Nights. That one can go. Okay. We're actually finding some stuff that can go. Uh, the Alien for Independence Day. That can go. All right. This box is actually turning out to be a lot more successful than I thought it would be. Uh, Frankenstein Jr. is a keeper. That's a rare older one. Not super valuable, but rare. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph. The original one. Love this one. At one point, this was like $100 plus. I don't know if it's still that price might come down either way i absolutely love it that's a keeper okay let's move some of this over we have uh professor poopy pants that's a definite keeper i can see captain underpants pops having value long term kids you know every kid loves captain underpants uh wally that's cool i love that one that's a keeper uh tin man this is definitely a keeper i love the original wizard of Oz set. i actually traded this or for this uh, partial trade, um, first appearance of Harley Quinn comic book. <laughs> it's kind of a trade I kind of regret doing, but I had two copies of the issue, so I was like, all right, I can make the trade. Uh, this one has gone up in value, though, so it probably wasn't a bad trade, actually. Uh, Hot Topic Guy, I'm going to keep that one because that's an older one, and that's a harder one to get. I think it has a little bit of value. Ooh, Sharknado, that's a definite keeper. Love that one. That's a cool one. Uh, Zorn from Son of Zorn. What year is this? 2016? Uh, I think I can get rid of that one. Okay. We're making progress, actually. Uh, E.T. 2014. Yeah, that's a keeper. And the Laposaurus Chase. Oh, I think I can sell that one. <laughs> I really love Jurassic Park, but I think I can sell it. Okay, that box is not too bad. I pulled out six items. That actually feels like a success. I thought I was going to keep it all. All right, let's go through Bob's box. Bob, I want to say thank you. It was super awesome that you sent me this whole box full of cool stuff. Uh, let me read the letter. Okay, let's read this now. It says, hello, my YouTube friend. Hello. I'm very much enjoying your videos. Recently, you mentioned you're low on VHS tapes. I'm actually surprised how well they are selling right now. We sold, one customer came in and spent $110 this weekend on VHS tapes. At like three to five dollars a piece, that's a big stack of tapes. So yeah, tapes are just kind of selling really well right now. So recently you mentioned you're low on VHS tapes and I have a bunch I'm looking to download. I'm sending these to you free of charge. Oh wow, Bob, you rock. That's amazing, thank you. As a sort of support for your channel, hope they help. They definitely, I am kind of running low on tapes. I, you know, the really good ones just blow out. And so I appreciate it. It is also getting harder to find them because people just don't have them anymore. Um, so definitely help. Keep up the great work and stay groovy, Bob. Well, thank you, Bob. You are amazing. I um, This was just a big surprise, and it really warms my heart. Thank you. I appreciate it. And this is, definitely helps the channel a lot, because every cent I'll make selling these tapes will go back into me making more content. Okay, let's start digging through this box. Okay, we got some plushies, which I don't know if these are vintage or not. Let me see if I can find the date on them. Date, date, date. 2016, so a little bit newer. Uh, I still think, you know, Someone's going to want these. I could probably get five, ten dollars out of them. We got Bulbasaur. No, that's not Bulbasaur. Is that Bulbasaur? I forget. And uh, Pikachu, which is Tommy. Uh, 2015. Yeah. There's, uh, you know, 
couple little bits of hair on it and stuff. Uh, to clean up plush, all you need is a tape, basically. If it looks relatively clean, it just has a little bit of lint on it. You just take tape, you tap it, and you get all the like surface dirt off of it, and it cleans them up really well. So, yeah, I just have a piece of packing tape. And you, you just basically, you tap it like this, and you go all over the surface, and it'll pull off any like little hairs or little um, bits of lint. And it just it cleans the surface really well. This I mean these are really clean. They just you know they have a little bit of surface dust, basically. So you go like that, and you just see all the stuff coming off of it, and it cleans up really nicely. Uh, still a very collectible plush. All right, awesome. Okay, let's see what tapes we have. All right, it looks like we have a bunch of James Bond, Doctor No. That's it looks like an older tape. Yeah, eighty four. That's super cool. That you know, stuff like this, classic, good quality movies on VHS sell very well for me. The Legend of Grimace Island. This is going to sell just because it's Grimace. You know, the popularity with Grimace with the kids is really high right now. Uh, ooh, a cool Masters of the Universe tape. Dragon Invasion. That's cool. That's like nostalgic. That will sell. Uh, let's see. We got a uh, Star Trek Two, my favorite Star Trek, Wrath of Khan. Excalibur, I remember enjoying this as a kid. Awesome cover art, too. Love that. Yeah, this is really good stuff. This is, like, these mid-80s kind of classics are what sell best for me. Oh, yeah, Star Wars set. Star Wars is always in demand. Uh, widescreen, this should be the unedited version, I think. Yeah, special edition widescreen. So it's not the best resolution, but it's going to be just the original format without all the special edition. Uh... No, is it special edition? Maybe it does have the editing to it. It is widescreen, though. Either way, it's Star Wars. People will buy that. People love Star Wars. Oh, speaking of the Rocketeer, we got a copy of the Rocketeer on VHS. I almost want to keep that. <laughs> I really enjoyed this movie as a kid. That's awesome. Love that. Oh, yeah. This is uh, Thunderball. This is a great box of tapes. This is the kind of stuff that I kind of hope people would bring into the shop. A lot of times people bring in tapes and I'll be like sweating to the oldies or something. <laughs> but these are all classic like sci-fi and... Uh, thrillers i guess just classic classic stuff uh the road warrior again another really awesome movie ghostbusters classic you know it's this kind of stuff that people want to buy on vhs the guy who bought all the tapes in the shop uh allison asked him you know does he collect them and he said no he got a vcr last christmas and he just likes putting them as background noise right he'll just play old movies and so for him it's almost the audio why he gets them it's not even to uh watch them it's more just to have something on in the background uh, original batman batman 89 absolutely love this movie i had a vhs copy of this i watched it so many times back then i believe i got it for christmas and that was like it was one of the best christmas presents i had because i got so much use out of it willow another classic this is actually a really really fun box bob uh batman and robin the joker we got Star Trek, uh, was it six? Star Trek six? Not my favorite. Still pretty cool though. I think four is one I love when they go back in time. Uh, Star Trek First Contact. That's a kind of fun one. Uh, Star Trek four. Yeah, that's the one where they go back in time. Love that one. All right, we got some of these bigger ones. Oh, we got E.T. I, I don't think it's a super valuable tape, but it's E.T. Everyone loves E.T. Super easy to sell tape. Uh, Scooby-Doo will sell. People love Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is awesome. And more Scooby-Doo. Very nostalgic for us. Like late 40s into our 50s. Uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Classic sci-fi. Uh, ooh, Robocop. One of my all-time favorites. Paul Verhoeven movies are just super fun. Uh, Animaniacs. That's got to be super collectible at this point. Uh, Atlantis, The Lost Empire. You know what? I don't even think I've seen that movie. Another copy E.T. Oh, great. Multiple E.T.s. E.T.'s awesome. Let's see what we got. We got uh, a sealed Midway. Classic uh, war movie. It might have a little bit of premium value because it's sealed. Oh, for a few dollars more, I love the old uh, Spaghetti Western Clint Eastwood movies. That's great. That's awesome tape. Uh, let's see. We got Chippendales. Undercover Critters. That one's probably got a little bit of nostalgia value to it. Muppet Babies. Another 80s kids favorite. 
uh, Tenchi Forever, the movie. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Okay, we got uh, Schwarzenegger's Predator, one of my all-time favorites as well. Ninja Resurrection, more anime. The Return of the Musketeers. That one's actually Factory Sealed 2, so that might have a little bit of a premium value. People are paying a premium now for sealed tapes. Uh, Time Cop. Cutthroat Island. And, oh, another all-time classic. We got Blade Runner. Wow, that was a really awesome selection of VHS tapes. Like, I would love to get a box like this a week. You know, someone just traded it into the shop. Because I just, I can't get this kind of stuff that often. And it sells really well for me right now. This video is sponsored by Bob. Bob rocks. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate it. Okay, this says Pop Asia not selling those. G.I. Joe probably keeping those. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse can go. Okay, so this might be 50% keepers, two-thirds keepers. I'm not sure. Let's open it up. I uh, I think this is going to be a hard box to go through. Yeah, I see a lot of amazing freaking pops here. Uh, let's see if I can get rid of something. Okay, Oswald Rabbit, 2013. Like, no, I can't even get rid of that. That's a early, early pop. Oh, the Mickey Mouses, uh, 2015. Yeah, I got to keep those. Okay, I might not be getting rid of anything. We got Momo from Cosfan X. Absolutely love this line. So this is a line of like hypothetical cosplayers. I don't know if it's actually based on people or not, but it's only uh, was released in Asia, I believe. I just think they're super cute. So I absolutely love that line. That's a keeper. Uh, Astro Boy. Oh yeah, we got the convention exclusive where he's half robot, half regular. Um, Osama Tezuka is one of my all-time favorite manga creators. So it's like... All the Astro Boy related stuff, absolutely love it. This is just, that's a keeper. If you guys haven't watched it, they did a um, uh, anime called Pluto that was based on his work, like, but takes place after his work. Really, really, really good. Uh, Monkey King, that's a keeper. We got Destro Comic Exclusive, that's a keeper. Uh, Pluto, so that's the bad guy that the Pluto um, anime was based on. That's an amazing looking figure that's a keeper another osama tezuka character shiraku is that how you say it that's a keeper 2015 those are amazing wow this box is such a cool but like this has a lot this stuff would probably be the very last pops i ever sell cobra commander the hooded one hooded cobra commander was one of my all-time favorite action figures as a kid um storm shadow bait release that's uh yeah these are all keeper i don't think i'm gonna be able to sell anything in here Momo Taro, that's a keeper. Okay, let me move these to the side. We are just hitting the part of my collection. The farther we get back into it, the more it's going to be this old stuff that I just, I do not want to part with. In fact, if I ever get the space and I start recollecting, I am just going to focus on pre-2015 and just get them all. Uh, really cool Monkey King. So there's a few that I've sold that are older like that that will be the first I replace. Monk Shaw. But I've been trying to only sell ones that I thought the value won't go up too much over time. Uh, Cobra Commander, absolutely love that one. Uh, Princess Sapphire, she's also another Osama Tezuka character. Love that. Uh, Bora, Astro Boy, another amazing character. Ooh, such a fun box for me. Uh, Blackjack, absolutely love Blackjack. Another Osama Tezuka. Uh, Roadblock, the 84. Love this action figure when I was a kid. That's a keeper. Okay just this box is just so much amazing stuff uh destro with the con sticker that's a keeper another um astro boy mount block again that character was in the pluto anime really love that uh anime oh we have oni oni super cool i had two people reach out to me trying to buy my oni hikari not for sale not for sale when i say it's not for sale i mean it's not for sale uh, Snake Eyes. I also had people contact me to buy a lot of my other grails. I just don't want to sell them. No matter how much you ask, there's no, like, you would have to offer me double value, maybe, for me to even think about it. Uh, Wu-Tang Priest. And I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I just, this is my collection. I collected these because I absolutely love them. Uh, Dr. Uh, oh, Mizu? Mizu? I can't say it. <laughs> this is the really amazing flocked version, though. Absolutely love that one. That's just like, just a really fun figure. Uh, we have Tink, another Osama Tesco figure. I love these. This is one of my all-time favorite pop lines. Just because of how much I love his uh, manga. Doctor, that guy again, Dr. O. 
The regular version, love it. All keepers. All keepers. Man, I really did love um, the Pluto series. So seeing the characters from that series, just as the original uh, Osama Tezuka versions are awesome. Uh, this is the really awesome metallic Princess Sapphire. Absolutely love that one. We have the... Uh, was a GTS Blackstorm Shadow exclusive. That one's super cool. It looks like a traditional ninja. Uh, Epsilon. Another amazing Osama Tezuka figure. And uh, Hanuman. This is the Glow in the Dark Toy Tokyo exclusive. This one's super cool. Uh, I don't think I can turn off the lights enough to show the glow, but... One day, maybe I need to do a glow-in-the-dark pop figure video. <laughs> so that box, 100% keeper. Okay, it's getting kind of hard to get into these because of the subscription boxes. So let's go through a few of those. Okay, we got the Smuggler's Bounty, Force Awakens. I'm pretty sure I'm selling all of these. I can't imagine any that I want to keep. Okay, so we got a patch and pin, t-shirt, uh, Flock Chewbacca, which is awesome, and I believe a Java mug. Is it Java or is it another? All these, like, I took care of my sets. You know, I put them in protectors inside. Um, but, yeah, I might sell them complete if anyone wants to buy them complete. But I might just break them apart, sell the shirt for 10 in the shop, and then the individual items for PPG. I do end up selling these over time for, like, 3 bucks a piece. So I might just end up breaking these all up. Not 100% sure, but this one will be for sale. And, Leslie, if you see this, you get first pick if there's any of these that you want. Okay, we got the Smuggler's Bounty. This is Boba Fett on the front. Okay, we got, uh, oh, the pin is coming loose. Oh, we got the little Bosk pin. Boba Fett used to be gold, gold, gold for Star Wars collectors. After the TV series, I think his value has gone down a little bit. I still absolutely love him, but I feel like less uh, people are as excited for Boba Fett stuff. Got a shirt. IG-88 and Boba Fett. Those are both really amazing pops, though, but those can go. Okay, we got the first 10 year collector core box. I forget what's in here. The, being such a big box, I feel like this was a bigger item in here. Uh, yeah. We got uh, that Pez and the big Iron Man versus Whiplash. No comic book in this one. I think this is one that disappointed me. I just, uh, I do like these little mini pint size hero ones. But this big obnoxious set from like probably not the most exciting MCU scene. <laughs> like, I mean, I do love the Iron Man movies, but Whiplash first Iron Man as a movie moment. Yeah, that was kind of a lame one. I don't know. Not that excited for that one. Uh, that set can go. <laughs> I'm not having any kind of remorse or anything on that one. Even though I love the Marvel movies. Yeah, I believe this is the... Death Star one. I think this one was cool. I think I lost the pin. Uh, oh, yeah, this was not complete. This one I did something with. The pin's in there. Uh, I have the Grand Moff Tarkin. I forget what I did with the other pop, though. I, uh, and, or this might have just been like an extra one I got from someone. I don't remember. Either way, for sale. Okay, we have the Hot Topic Lion King box. Which, uh... Let's see. This Actually, this one was kind of cool. We have the little Ed Pocket Pop. We got a uh, Mystery Mini. This really fun uh, Timon figure. I think that's cute. And the uh, Scar, the Deluxe Scar with Flames is a really cool looking one. That's cool. I can let that one go, though. Again, these are just not that rare, so I feel like when I want to replace these, I'll be able to replace them easily. Okay, Firefly Cargo Crate. If this has a Firefly Pop in it, I think I'm keeping that, though, because I absolutely love Firefly. Uh, no, this just had stuff in it. Firefly... I think there was a... Um, yeah, ship. Uh, oh, the ship is cool. All right, you know what? I think I'm keeping this for now because I do really love Firefly. Spider-Man ones are kind of hard because my son was such a big Spider-Man fan when this came out. <sighs> Let me look at it. Let me look at it. Oh, button fell out. What's the pin? Spider-Man. Uh, I feel like these will be easy to replace, though. 
Oh, you know what? I probably will pull out the comics. If I don't sell a complete box, I'll keep the comics. Comic shirt. Uh, oh, that is a really awesome Spider-Man. I think I'm going to sell the box. Though. I think I'm going to sell it because I think I can replace them later on relatively easy. They just make so much Spider-Man that I don't think any specific one that they mass produce will have a huge value long term. The only ones that will have a higher value are the ones that they really, the earlier ones that have a really short print run. All right, Legion of Collectors, we are making progress. This one, I forget which one this is. Oh, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing pin is kind of cool. Oh, it does have the comic. I love them when they had the comics. When they stopped playing in comics is really when I stopped enjoying these as much. Uh, all right, really cool Plastic Man and Batman Robin Shaker. I That one I can't. Even though I love Plastic Man, this set I can sell. I just these things they printed like 40, 50,000. So the pops are really common. Even though some of them have some value, 20, 30 bucks, I don't think they're going to get much more value than 20, 30 bucks long term. I just realized this is one I'm going to keep. I think I think this is the issue 1 recreation. If it is, that's one of my all-time favorite pops. Uh, I might still sell off like the t-shirt and the parts, but the pop itself it's freaking amazing. Yeah, Bruce Banner with the Grey Hulk in the background. Hulk number one reprint. Yeah, I might sell off the little bits inside and stuff, but the pop, I, l I just absolutely love the pop. That's a keeper. I thought I was going to sell them all, but as soon as I realized what this one was, I was like, I, I can't, can't part with that. Okay, one keeper. Not the end of the world. Okay, Deadpool. This one is really cool, but I think I can part with this one. I probably... I will probably keep the comics and just break them up, I think. Just because I really like the comics. Uh, I mean, all the parts are cool, but they're common enough that I know I can replace it. All right, this is a for sale box. For sale box. Legion of Collectors Justice League theme. I think this one I am willing to get rid of. Yeah, we just got Aquaman and Steppenwolf. Uh, although this is one of the coolest Aquamans they made because he's got the water base. Like, just as a design, this pop is amazing. But it's Aquaman. Aquaman is not that popular. So I think this box I can sell. All right. Uh, DC's most wanted villains box. So this should be all, like, villains in it and stuff. We got the shirt. Uh, some stickers. Oh, we got the really cool Lex Luthor and Bane. Yeah. I can sell this box, but these are going to sell well. Because both of those are really awesome pops. I forget what box this is. It has Greedo, though, so it's either... Uh, no, it says Force Awakens. Okay, that's weird. All right, let's see what we got. It has Greedo and one of the Cantina musicians. So Force Awakens seems weird. What's... Yeah, why does it say Force Awakens when it's uh, Obi-Wan and Red Snaggletooth? So it's a you know New Hope box. Awesome box, though. I uh, sort of want to... No, it's for sale. These are common enough. These will all be for sale. But those are two great pops. All right, this is the droids-themed one. This one I'm tempted to keep because I do love droids and robots in general. Uh, so we have a pin with the uh, um, battle droid, I forget. What did you call those? And then uh, C-3PO. Uh, we have R5-D4 and C-3PO with his outer shell removed. Ah, ooh. Oh. Ah, I really want to keep these. Uh, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it. Struggle is real, but these should be easy enough to replace later on. Ooh, that one's hard, though. That was a real struggle. Okay, this is a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I, uh, I know, remember there's one really bad Guardians of the Galaxy box that just didn't even have a pop in it. That one might be this one. Uh, we have the Gamora pin and Star-Lord patch. I do love Guardians of the Galaxy, but I am... Oh, you know what, though? Okay, so I'm keeping all my Dwarves rides. So I'm actually going to break up the box, sell all the parts, but I'm going to keep the Dwarves ride because I absolutely love those. Okay, so only a partial keeper. And that wasn't the bad box. That was actually a pretty awesome box because you got a really cool pop and a really cool Dwarves ride. And a comic on the bottom, I forgot. Yeah. Going to keep the comic as well. I think we're going to keep the comics from all these boxes. <laughs> Unless someone really, really, really wants it. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. If this is the one with the um, 
Titanfall mechs, I'll keep it, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. I love this pop. Oh, this is the sign. So, yeah, it has the uh, Titanfall 2 Atlas and Pilot. That's a keeper for me. Uh, Swarm Sniper. Actually, I might keep that as well. <laughs> that guy, I can sell that. I can sell the little Gears of War uh, keychain. Okay, this is a Secret Wars box. I'm pretty sure this is the one with the original Miles Morales and the Jane Foster Thor. I, I really like this box, but both of those are very common pops. We got the... Oh, let's see. We got the uh, little Iron Man pin and the Falcon patch. Get the shirt. The really cool comic, which I will keep the comic... And yeah, original Miles Morales and original uh, Thor. Oh, I really like those though. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Uh, right, I'm gonna sell it, but <laughs> I like that one's tugging on my heartstrings a little bit because I like that era of Marvel Comics. You know, early 2010s when you know, Miles Morales came out, Miss Marvel came out. Okay, I can sell it. I think this is the last Jedi box, but with Yoda, that's that's weird. Some of these are weird. They don't seem to connect. Okay, we got uh, Plo Koon. Plo, I forget how you say his name. We have a Obi Wan patch, and we have oh yeah, really, really, really cool Obi Wan. Man, absolutely love that Obi Wan. But I'm pretty sure I could sell him, and the uh, Isla. Which, this is, they paint her where they didn't paint her belly blue. So she looks odd. Cool pop, though. For sale. Oh, and the really cute Yoda plushie. For sale. This one says, uh, Superhero Showdown. Uh, is this a deluxe pop? I forget what's in this box. I'm tempted to keep it if it's Daredevil, though. Okay, we got the, um, Compound Hulk. Iron Man vs. Ultron patch. Really cool Spidey shirt. Oh, yeah, I could sell that one. It's Daredevil versus Bullseye. Uh, not my favorite Daredevil. That's that, like, 90s Daredevil. Yeah, I could sell that stuff. Do love Daredevil, though. Okay, I cleared out enough space so I can continue this stack. So let's grab the next box. It says, Elf is definitely a keeper. Pinky in the Brain's a keeper. Kingdom Heart, I think I can get rid of. This box should be 75% that I'm willing to sell, I think. All right, let's dig in. All right, let's look... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm okay parting with all the Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Goofy, yeah, he can go. Yeah, pretty sure these I'll be able to replace later. Pete can go. Buddy Elf is a keeper. I love my Elf Pops. One of my all-time favorite movies, Narwhal is a keeper. Uh, Donald can go. I do like my ducks, but he can go. Rico can go. Shadow Heartless, I believe he can go. Now, a couple of these, I will double check price if any of these are expensive. I'll probably keep them. That just means that they're more rare than the rest. Uh, Goofy can go. All right, Chippendale. Yeah, this set can go. Sora, Monsters Inc. That one's really cool looking, but that one can go. All right, this box is turning into uh, Rico can go. Very successful box. Soldier Heartless can go. Uh, Monsters and Goofy can go. Sora can go. Mickey Mouse can go. The uh, Oh, Shadow Heartless Chase. That one I'm actually going to keep because I think that one is pretty hard to get. Oh, and uh, The Brain is a definite keeper. Keeper. Uh, okay, uh, Sora can go. Donald can go. I do like the Donald, though. Uh, Donald Monster Inc. can go. Toy Story, Sora. That one can go. Van Vanitas. That one just really dope looking. I'm gonna keep that one. That's a keeper. Uh, Pinky's a keeper. That's a definite keeper. Sora can go... Buddy Elf's a keeper. Christmas Town Sora. That can go. 
Organization 13, Mickey. That one's super cool, but that one can go. Uh, Monsters, Inc. Sora can go. Halloween Town, Sora can go. That one's awesome, though. And uh, Mickey can go. That box is a huge success. Only keeping seven. That means I'm getting rid of 23. Fantastic. Uh, Star Trek, Valstar Galactica, Flash Gordon, Robots, uh... Vader Zim, Ghostbusters, Scott Pilgrim, uh, Plants for Zombies. This is going to be a very difficult box. I'm thinking I'll keep you most of it. Okay, this box is going to be difficult. <laughs> Pretty sure. <yeah. laughs> yeah, these are all rare older ones. A lot of my favorites. Dr. Peter Bankman, 2015. Yep, that's a keeper. Uh, Deanna Troy, how often do you see this pop? Not that often. 2015, that's a keeper. Robocop, love Paul Verhoeven movies. 2014, that's a keeper. I think these are all keepers. Uh, oh, you know what? The newer Star Trek I can get rid of. Okay. Whew. Okay, we're getting rid of one. <laughs> Success. Uh, Vader Zimger, this is 2015, that's a keeper. Uh, Robot Girl, pre release sticker. That's a keeper. Uh, General Cletus from Flash Gordon. That's a definite keeper. Uh, Robot B9 2013. That's a keeper. Jeez, that's 10, 11 years old. That's a vintage one. Uh, Prince Volton. That's a keeper. Oh, you know what? This is Rowan's Ghost. This one, I think I can get rid of. Yeah, that one can go. All right, two down. <laughs> okay, let me clear these out. Okay, we got a uh, Ming the Merciless, definite keeper. We got a Scott Pilgrim, that's a keeper. We have, oh, you heard, but this is Star Trek Beyond. Yeah, I think I can get rid of that one. You know, I like the movies, but I don't like them as much as the next gen ones in the original series. Uh, Dr. Sands, 2015, yeah, that's a keeper. Uh, Gigantor, that one's amazing. That's a keeper. I love anime robots a lot. Uh, Battlestar Galactica Cylon, that's a keeper. Uh, Klingon from the Star Trek series, that's a keeper. That's actually really awesome. Gurr from Invader Zim, that's a keeper. What year is that? 2015. We have uh, Lieutenant Starbuck, the Toy Tokyo exclusive, that's a keeper. Uh, let's see what we got. Robbie the Robot, this is the super rare Gemini exclusive um, teal green version. My friend Whitney gave that to me for my birthday. How cool is that one? That's a definite keeper. Uh, Will Riker from The Next Generation, that's a keeper. Dr. Peter Venkman, 2014, that's definitely a keeper. Ooh, The Iron Giant, one of my all-time uh, favorite movies, 2013. Wow, I didn't even realize that was a 2013. That's a... Uh, like, pops before 2014 just feel like such oddities. A uh, girl with cupcake, that's a keeper. Scott Pilgrim, Toys R Us exclusive, that's a definite keeper. Uh, Nega Scott, the 2017 San Diego Comic Con exclusive, that's a keeper. Knives Chow is a keeper. Uh, Captain Apollo, the Toy Tokyo exclusive, that's a keeper. Oh, this one's super fun. We have the uh, Domo Ghostbusters. That's a keeper. And Oh, uh, Jillian Holtzman, the um, female-led Ghostbuster one. That one can go. All right, four out of a box. I didn't think I was going to sell any. Feels kind of like a success. Maybe not a success getting rid of a ton. But moving a couple more, still making progress. All right, let's keep going. Okay, this box says Naruto and FLCL. I think FLCL I'll keep, but Naruto, I should be able to get rid of those. Naruto... Uh, although I might be keeping some now that I'm looking at it. Uh, I actually, I think I can get rid of the Doom ones. I don't think these have a ton of value. Oh, what year is this one? 2016. I think I'm going to keep that one because that one's pretty dope. Uh, this is going to be a difficult box. Or is it? All right, the Dorbs. Definitely keeping the Killmonger Dorbs. Um... The uh, Karuma Glow in the Dark version. I'm keeping that for my six inch pop collection, which I realize is multiple in here. 
Uh, Naruto, Resengan, that one can go. Uh, Sasuke or Sasuke, that one can go. I know I'm saying it wrong, but that's fine. Uh, Naruto, I'm sure someone will try to correct me, but it's not really going to help. Uh, Sage Mode, that can go. Furiosa, uh, I don't know if there's anything different. I think it's just the common, but with the PlayStation Store sticker on it. I don't know if someone added that or whatnot, but keeping that for now. Uh, Sakura? This one's cute, but that one can go. We got um, Kakashi Lightning Blade version. That's going to sell really well, but that can go. Uh, Naruto Six Path, that can go. Naruto, that can go. Uh, Nayada from FLCL, that's a keeper. Love that one. That one's cute. Okay, um, Canty from FLCL. That's a keeper. Uh, oh, we did that one already. Master Chief with Cortana. Oh, that's an old one, I think. No, 2018. So that's a reprint. I'm going to keep that one, though. That's a keeper. Uh, Sora, Divine Drive. The Best Buy exclusive. That one can go. Uh, Nami and Takan. She is super adorable. That's a keeper. Oh, we have the uh, Funko Shop exclusive Nux. That's a keeper. Love the Mad Max ones. Okay, we have the uh, Hanzo and Genji double pack. That is really cool. kind of want to keep that one, but I think I can sell that one. Uh, Kakashi, that one's cool. That can go. Toby can go. Oh, and then we have the other two Karumas. We have the regular one. That's a keeper. That one's super dope. And I think this is the flock. Yeah, we got the flock version, which is the best version. That's a keeper. So not as successful as I thought I would with this box. I'm only getting rid of... Well, I'm getting rid of almost half. I'm missing one from half. But still half a box I'm getting rid of. Still a success, even though it's not as much as I thought I was going to get rid of. I thought I was going to get rid of most of this box, honestly. Okay, we're making some space. We removed one column. I think... Kind of want to work on that column, I think. We're going to remove that column next, and then we'll come back to that column. But honestly, by the end of this week, I want to clear out enough space that I can get to filming comic videos. My comic calls are piling up. I really want to film comic videos. All right, so let's just continue going, and we'll go through that column. Pull down some of these boxes. This one says six-inch pops. One. This one, I don't know. It's not marked. This one says, nope, top 18, so it's just probably regular pops. Okay, so let me, this is the first box we're going to work on, I think. This one hopefully has a lot of stuff I can get right now. All right, so this just says box 2021-2. So these are pops I bought in 2021. It should be a mix, and it's not the older stuff, so I think I should be able to get rid of more out of this box. This should be a good box. First impression. Uh, nope. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm seeing, like, rare kind of grails. Yeah, maybe this won't be an easy to sell box. We got a really cool Master of the Universe web store. He is a newer one, but I love the way this one looks. I think I have to keep that one. Uh, Jiminy Cricket. Oh, he's a more modern one. You know what? I can sell that one. Okay. I thought that was the real one. Um, the New York Comic Con Officer Freddy. That's a keeper. Uh, Flocked Woodsy Owl. Oh, I love that one, but that one can go. Uh, limited a thousand pieces, Freddy Funko. That's a keeper. Oh, the Stone Keeper. I'm gonna keep that one because that's a pretty rare one. Uh, sodas, Crash Bandicoot can go. Um, Stay Puff can go. I don't know if these are Chaser Commons, but I'm getting rid of all my sodas or almost all of them. I think there's a small handful that I'm keeping. Uh, Chester Cheetah can go. Ooh, Professor X is super dope, but that one can go. Um, Gossip Girl, Serena Vander Woodson. She can go. She's cute, though. Uh, Roz Remix, Alien, Toy Story. That's a keeper. I do love the Toy Story Alien stuff. Um, China can go. Honestly, I'm not that much into wrestling, so I was keeping those just to work on getting the record. Uh, Two-Face can go. So there's a lot of stuff like that that I had at this time that, like, 
my heart's not in it, Dan Humphrey. So a lot of that can go. So I do like hitting these boxes that were stuff I picked up in 2020 and newer. Uh, Kingpin. I think I'm going to keep that one because I love the Kingpin and the MCU. You know, the Vincent D'Onofrio character. So I've just become a big fan of his. Uh, ooh, Peggy Bundy Chase. Gotta keep that as well. Okay, let me... okay I think this remake, yeah, the double remake set, that's a keeper. The Cowboy McNugget, that one can go. What is this? The Fry Kids? That one's super neat, but that one can go. The Spooky Mini Pops, that's a keeper for sure. I love those little mini ones. Uh, Oh, and the mini uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a keeper, too. Oh, and then finally, uh, Dick Dash Dilly. That can go. Right, I thought I'd be parting with more in this box. It wasn't doesn't feel like that successful because it's less than half a box. But I'm still making progress. So I guess it's still a win. We're still going in the right direction. Okay, let's open up this. So I these I just had logged in as top boxes, basically, because they're on the top. So it should just be pops, I think. Yeah, just pops. Uh, I might be able to get rid of most of this. I think we got uh, Lord Zed. That can go. Firefighter Mickey can go. Uh, Benny the Ball. This one looks a little bit sun faded. 2017. That one can go. The FYE Warcraft Twins. That can go. All right. Let's see what we got. We got uh, Rita Repulsa. She can go. We've got Unmasked Tommy from the, what was it, Galactic Toys exclusive? He can go. Uh, but I see a Target exclusive Tom Riddle from Harry Potter. I'm keeping that one. All right, that's not bad, actually. Most of this box is going. Okay, another one of these top boxes. Uh, okay, some keepers, but some I can sell. So the uh, 101 Dalmatians, that will go. Pop in the box exclusive. That one might be rare-ish. Uh, Yara Greyjoy. I just love the way this one looks. I'm going to keep that one. That's a looker. Uh, Steve Hiller from Independence Day. That can go. Uh, Senti Arm Morty Chase. That's a keeper. Uh, James Bond can go. The Neighbor from Hello Neighbor. That's a keeper. And... Flounder, what year is this? 2008, 16? So that one can go. Okay, not too bad. Most of that box is going. Okay, another top of box. This one. Oh, this. Okay. <laughs> Definitely keepers in here. Futurama, one of my all time favorite animations. So we have the blue Dr. Zoeyberg, definite keeper. We have the really beautiful Okami. Absolutely love this pop. I think it's stellar. Even though it's Fantastic Beast and not Harry Potter, I am keeping that one. I absolutely love that one. Uh, ooh. Boondock Saints. These are kind of rare, valuable ones. What year are these? 2015. I, uh, oh. So these have value. I don't know off the top of my head how high, but I don't think they have the kind of value where they're just going to keep going up in value. I think they're kind of like going to stabilize where they're at. So I think I'm going to sell these because I know down the road I'll be able to get them. Maybe I'll get them in a collection cheaper or... If I really need them, I'll get them again. So I think I will sell these, even though these are like semi-grails. Okay, not too bad. Okay, this is just another box from 2021. So I guess the last one I kept a lot more than I thought. Hopefully this has a lot of ones I'll part with. Okay, first impressions. Oh, yeah, I think this will be... It looks like Comic-Con ones from the... Uh, like, I guess that year they didn't have it in person. So I have a feeling a lot of these I can let go, actually. Okay, this is good, actually. Okay, we have uh, Falcon Virtual Con. That can go. We have uh, Stanley Hudson from The Office. He can go. Okay, this is good. Uh, Roboto, I do really like that one, but he can go. We got this really nice Ray. This is one of my favorite Rays, I think, but she can go. Okay, this box is great because this is going to be a lot of ones I'm willing to let go of. Uh, Mickey Mouse can go. Smaxy the seal can go. Uh, some of these probably have value. I just don't know off the top of my head. Uh, Imperial Super Commando can go. I think I still have a bunch of those in the shop. 
Uh, Dr. Feet. I'm going to keep that one, though, because I do love Dr. Feet. Okay, so one keeper so far. Uh, ooh, the genie from Creep Show. I absolutely love that one. That's a keeper. Okay, we got uh, Phil Buster Leslie. She can go. All right, this box is turning out great. Uh, Batman with Scythe. That can go. Oh, Sabo Chan, though. That's a keeper. I do love Tokodoki a lot. Uh, Lord Asriel with Stelmaria. I'm not familiar with this show. I haven't watched it. Really cool looking pop. I think I can let that one go because I'm just not connected with it. A uh, really cool mod Wonder Woman. That one I love, actually. I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> I was going to let it go, but I'm like, no, I love that one. Uh, awesome Gamora, but she can go. Uh, Mrs. Cultieri with the monkey. Man, she just, I'm going to keep that one. I don't know this show, but, you know, I'm going to keep both of these because they're just the double pops, and I absolutely love the way they look. I know I'm silly. I'm just, I love when I see a pop I love. Oh, and uh, Ravona with Miss Minutes. That's a keeper, too. That one's awesome. I love the little mini Miss Minutes. Okay, let me clear these. Okay, looks like we have a Hello Kitty. Oh, I do really like Hello Kitty. All right, that's a keeper. Uh, Deathstroke, the um, Imperial one. That one can go. Okay, that's good. Uh, wardrobe can go. Uh, movies mascot. That one can go. Okay, this is turning out pretty good. Uh, the Drummer McNugget can go. The San Diego Comic-Con Flocked Bullseye. What year is this? 2019. Uh, it has the con sticker. I think I'm going to keep that one because that one's probably really hard to get again. Okay, that's a keeper. Okay, we have the uh, Captain Werewolf. That one can go. Ooh, this is a grail, though. Mr. Toad, limited to 1,500 pieces. What year is this? 2017. That one is dope. That's a keeper. Keeper. Uh, Sinestro can go. We got, uh, ooh, Sakura Miku. That's a keeper. Really big fan of Hatsune Miku, so that's a keeper. For sure. Oh, another grail. Trishire Cat. What year is this? 2011. That's an old school one. Those are the ones that I just like. Those are my favorite. Those really old 13-year-old ones. You just can't find these anymore. That's a keeper. Okay. Uh, really awesome Ahsoka. Do love Ahsoka, but I think I can get her again pretty easily. So that one can go. And Randall, uh, I think I'm going to keep that one. Okay. Not too bad. Okay, that box, I'm keeping 13 out of 30. That was a really successful box. And the ones I'm keeping, I'm keeping, like, really amazing grails, really rare ones, more amazing grails, and just, like, top favorites. So, like, this doesn't bother me at all, keeping stuff like that. All right, this box is a big mix. We have Rick and Morty, the Keeper, Friends can go, Outlander, that's a Keeper, uh, Sports can go, Game of Thrones can go, Asia ones, probably Keeper, all right, yeah, keeper on that. Garfield can go. Daria's probably the keeper. Uh, Blacklist, I think that can go. Bioshock, probably the keeper. Okay, I don't know. This might be a 50-50 box. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, although, it says sports, but now I'm looking. It looks like a Yankees. Uh, Babe Ruth, I gotta keep it. I'm a Yankees fan, so Babe Ruth's a keeper. Uh, Swifty Morty's a keeper. Uh, Glutie's a keeper. Oh, yeah, the Bioshock. Uh, Booker DeWitt is a keeper. Uh, Jordan can go, though. Even though, you know, he's the GOAT, he can go. Oh, I see some of my favorites underneath. Uh, Ultraman's a keeper. Uh, Scary Terry's a keeper. Uh, Crom Populous Michael, that's a keeper. Okay, I'm seeing some of the rare Jordans. So that's the hobby stock version. And then I have the other version of the same pop. The uh, special edition international version. Both of those can go. Uh, Beth is a keeper. Uh, Kuchisaki, is that how you say it? From the Legendary Myths. That one's amazing. That's a keeper. For sure. Uh, Monica Geller can go. That one has some value, I think. Uh, oh, Muhammad Ali. That one's pretty dope. I think he can go, though. He can go. Uh, Daria is a keeper for sure. Uh, Kane gone. That's a keeper. Okay, we have uh, another Daria. Daria, that's the uh, shirt sticker. That's a keeper. Uh, Monica with the turkey on her head. That can go, even though that's kind of a semi-grail. That one can go. 
Uh, JD Phoenix Gears of War. I forget if this one's expensive or not. I think he can go because his box is also a little bit damaged. Uh, Robinson Cano can go. Ooh, Garfield. I think I'm keeping the Garfield. Keeping the Garfield. Uh, Shrimp Morty is a keeper with the con sticker. Uh, Face Hugger Rick, that's a keeper. Snowball's definite keeper. Uh, General Ram, that one's dope. That's a keeper. Okay, we have the uh, Siyokoi. Is that how you say it? That's a keeper. That one's really dope. Uh, ooh, we have the Foot Locker exclusive. So this is the third sticker variant of this one. That can go as well. We have... Oh, limited to 1,000 pieces. The Marcus Phoenix super rare one. That's a keeper because that's kind of a grail. 2016, so it's uh, well, eight years old. Low print count. That's a keeper. That's one I'll never see again, I'm sure. Uh, Douglas McKenzie from Outlander. My wife loves Outlander, so that's a definite keeper. This might be my only Outlander pop. Those ones are rare and expensive. Oh, and uh, Tinkle's Ghost in a Jar. That's a keeper. All right, that box, I'm only getting rid of nine. That doesn't feel too successful, but you know what? I'm still making progress. Keep moving forward. I'm going to keep removing pops. Let's get to another box. I have a little bit of room on top of the tower boxes to put on the side. So I'm going to put this really amazing 10-inch Cthulhu up there. I love this pop. This pop's amazing. Fraggle Rock. Ooh, that's going to be a keeper. Dumbo can go. Winnie the Pooh can go. Punisher can probably go. I might keep the chase. Uh, Tron, uh, so maybe Toy Story can go. And uh, Dark Elf, not sure what that is, but I think that's probably a keeper. Okay, let's see. Uh, ooh, yeah, there's a lot of keepers. Yeah, Dumbo can go. Uh, ooh, I do the Pusheens I'm keeping because I just really like them. I think they're cute. And I love the Fraggle Rock ones. Like, these are just some of my favorites. That's a keeper. And, uh, yeah, Pusheen's a keeper. Dragon Sheen's a keeper. Uh, pork Chop can go. And let's see what we got. We got a uh, really cool Diamond Winnie the Pooh, but that can go. That will sell pretty easily, I think. Uh, Krillin from Dragon Ball Z, he can go. Uh, Pushinosaurus, that's a keeper. Oh, another awesome Fraggle Rock one. I absolutely love these. Boober with Dozer, amazing. That's a keeper. Uh, Bo Beep can go. Oh, Angus Young, just the regular one, not the chase. That can go, but that's pretty cool. I do like the music ones. Uh, Super Pushinicorn, that's a keeper. Uh, Tron can go, even though I love it. I just These have been cheap forever, so I feel like when I want to get them again, I'll be able to get them. Uh, Sprocket's a keeper. Uh, Red with Dozer, that one's awesome. That's a keeper. Is this the chase? I think I'm going to keep the glow-in-the-dark chase, though, because that one's super awesome. Okay, let me clear these. Okay, this one is the um, Funko Shop Werewolf from Scooby-Doo. That's a keeper. That one's amazing. We have uh, Moki with Dozer, another amazing Fraggle Rock one. Love that one. That's a keeper. Dwight with CPR mask on. That can go. Uh, Pushinicorn, that's a keeper. Another one of these amazing Fraggle Rocks. Gobo with Dozer. That's a keeper. Uh, Fireman Dumbo can go. Eeyore. 2016 printing. I think I can let go of that one. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. That one can go. Uh, Sheriff Woody can go. Okay, uh, Forky can go. Uh, Flock Bunny. I do really like that one. But that one can go. Um, Uncle Traveling Matt, that's definitely a keeper. And, uh, ooh, Flock Bullseye. I do have that rarer one. I think I'll let go of that one. All right, I think I pulled out half a box. I think I'm okay with that. That seems like a pretty successful box. All right, another generic 2021 box. So hopefully there's a lot in here I'm willing to part with. Let's see what we got. Uh, all right, this is looking pretty good for stuff I will part with. So I, I know the sports ones I'll get rid of. So a fun tennis one, Amanda and the Smova. Ooh, the Soup Nazi. I do really like that one, but I can let go of those. 
Uh, ooh, the Sorceress. I think I'm going to keep that one, though, because I do love... I love Master of the Universe, but I love the female characters the most. Uh, Diana from V. This is one of my all-time favorite series. I think I'm going to keep that one, just so how much I love V. Uh, Guild Wars, Joko. That one just looks amazing. That's a keeper. All right, I guess I'm keeping more than I thought. Uh, Monster Hunter, Loot, and Navarro? This one just looks amazing. I'm going to keep that one. Uh, Harlem Globetrotters, that one I can let go of. That one's really cool, though. Uh, Richard Simmons, I can let go of. Okay, we got um, Elaine with Sombrero. That one can go. We got uh, a footballer. That one can go. Immortal Shrouded from Age 2. That one looks awesome. I'm going to keep that one. Keeper. Uh, ooh, Mirror vs. Spock. Ah. Uh, I don't think this one's worth much, but I'm keeping that one because that just is dope. Oh, Batman. I really do not like those. That one can go. That one's no problem at all. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this one too. I don't know what this series is, but I really like the way all the characters look. So I think I'm just keeping those for now. Uh, the MTV Moon Person, the rainbow version. That one is awesome. I'm keeping that. Uh, another His Dark Materials. I like that these are all double pops. That's keeper. I'm going to keep that. Uh, Dimango from Samurai Jack. I love Samurai Jack. That's a keeper. Uh, ooh, I really love Blade, but I think Blade can go. Oh, I'm kind of torn on Blade. Uh, Harry Potter's a keeper. Uh, Nubia. I think I'm going to keep that one. She looks awesome. Okay, I'm keeping a bit more than I thought I would. No, I thought about it again. I'm going to keep Blade. I love Blade. That'll haunt me a little bit if I don't keep him. Okay, uh... Creepshow, Scarecrow, that's a keeper. Love that. Uh, Mirror vs. Sulu, I think I'm going to keep that one. Uh, the Good Place, Tahani. She's really cute, but I think I can get rid of that one. I haven't really watched the show, so I'm not that connected. Uh, Sandy's a keeper, love Tokodoki. Ooh, I love the uh, Eye of the Beholder. Xanathar, that one's a keeper. That one is super dope. We have a uh, Rick Deckard from Blade Runner. Wow, that one is really cool. Um, oh, it's a newer pop, so I don't think it's going to gain much value, but I'm going to keep it. I do really like, you know, a Blade Runner classic sci-fi. Uh, Rhea and the Last Dragon, I think I'm going to keep that one too. Uh, too many new pops I'm keeping. Okay, we got the 40-Year-Old Virgin. That's a keeper. Absolutely love that movie. It's so funny. Uh, Walrus and the Carpenter from Alice in Wonderland. That's a keeper. I love that one. Uh, but Belly Dancer Homer, I think I can let that one go. Yeah, I can let that one. That one can go. Okay, I'm only selling nine from that box. I thought I would be selling a lot more. Yikes, that's probably not a successful box. But I really do like all the ones I'm keeping. All right, on to the next box. Okay, another 2021 box. Uh, we'll see. I feel like I keep keeping more than I think I will. But maybe this will be the box where I find a lot to sell. Okay. Uh, ooh, okay, there's going to be keepers, uh, but some sellers too. I can sell the sports stuff. I don't feel super connected to that, so Dr. J can go. That one's super dope, though. Kind of want to keep it, but he can go. Uh, another soccer player, that one can go. Uh, one Punch Man, that's a keeper for sure. Love One Punch Man. We got another one of these Rage 2. She looks awesome. So we have the Goon Squad. That one's cool. That's a keeper. Uh, Takmura from Cyberpunk 2077. I really love the anime of this, so that's going to be a keeper. We have a Butch Cougar. That one can go. Uh, I do love the Matrix, but, you know, Neo can go. I can get rid of that one. Uh, Joe Perry from Aerosmith. That's kind of neat. That one can go. Uh, we have a fun 2021 Funimation My Hero Academia double set. Uh, we got Sugar Rocky and overall, that's super dope. That's a keeper. I got some bigger boxes. I'm not sure if these are six inches or what they are. Oh, Split Kit. We have a really awesome Garbage Pail Kid. That's a keeper. I'm the right age. You know, I was born in 76, so Garbage Pail Kids came out right at the right time. Uh, Young Guru, that's a keeper. And we got um, Lucas. That one can go. Right, let me clear these. All right, let me see what's in these boxes. This is... Oh, is this one of the metal ones? It feels heavy. 
Oh yeah, this is the metal Captain America. That one can go. I'm just not the biggest fit. I mean, the metal ones are kind of cool, but the retail is so high on them that I never really fell in love with them. I just thought they're really expensive for what they are. Boxes. Oh, we got a six inch pop. Uh, oh yeah. From Rick and Morty, we have uh, Balthromau. Is that how you say? Super funny episode. That's a definite keeper for me. Okay, we have this box. This is, oh, the Snake Mountain. Oh yeah, this one is super dope too. I do love the, um, the pops that come with little buildings. Huge fan of these. So we have the Snake Mountain Skeletor. This is a must keep. Yeah, that's amazing. I love that one. And then finally, one more bigger one, which I'm guessing I'm going to keep too. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. This one's super dope. We have a pop ride. It's uh, Skelter with Night Stalker. Uh, I know I feel like the He-Man ones, I am going to regret the ones I've sold. But I think all the ones I've sold are all kind of common ones. But I feel like this is definitely a set I'm going to want to rebuild. That's a keeper. That's amazing. Right, this box... Uh, Keep it more than half. So, I, I mean, still making progress, still, you know, purging, but not as successful as I would like. But the other stuff was too cool, so I couldn't help myself. <laughs> we got one more box to go from that stack. So let's check that one out. All right, this is the last box from the second column. It's marked TMNT and Adventure Time. I don't think I can get rid of anything from this box, but we're going to dig through and see what cool stuff is inside. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I mean, this is amazing stuff. I love the Adventure Time ones a ton. So we have Finn. When did these come out? 2015? Finn, yeah. It's one of my favorite sets. Uh, Baxter Stockman, 2017. Actually, I can sell that one. I'm going to sell the newer ones, but the original ones, these are, yeah, 2016. The older ones, I am keeping from the Turtle set. And we have Jake. That's a keeper. The Adventure Time set is probably... Top five favorite sets, maybe even closer than it might be my favorite set, honestly, out of all the Funko Pops I have. 2015 Leonardo, that's amazing. We have uh, Michelangelo 2015, these are all in good shape, too. Like maybe minor wear, but yeah, amazing set. Actually, maybe this one has a little bit of wear on it, but still, awesome older set. Okay, what do we have? We have Casey Jones. This is 2016. Uh, I think Casey Jones, I will let go. I just want to keep the ones that are like 2015 and earlier. Raphael. Yeah, 2015, so that's a keeper. Uh, Leonardo, 2016. I actually, I'm going to keep that one. Uh, will I, reg I might regret selling the other ones, but I'm going to do it. Bemo's a keeper, though. I have to keep all the Venture Time, especially this one. Absolutely love this one. The metallic one. Such a cool pop. That's a keeper. You guys know me. I love my rides. So we have Jake with Finn. That's a ride. That's amazing. That's definitely a keeper. Just seeing all Adventure Time pops on this bottom rod. This stuff brings me joy. Yeah, Adventure Time. That's going to be a set I'll probably never sell. <laughs> uh, Cake. Cake is awesome. I really like the HBO Max uh, Fiona and Cake series. We have Fiona. That was a really fun series. I really enjoyed it. We have uh, Marceline with a pre-release sticker. That one's super cool. We have a uh, regular Marceline. We have Donatello, uh, 2015 again. All keepers, all keepers. Uh, the Lich. When did these come out? Yeah, 2015, that's a keeper. That's right. These came out pretty much right when I started really collecting. Or within the first year. Uh, Foot Soldier, that's a keeper. Uh, 2014. That's an older one. And we have uh, April O'Neil, 2014. Let's see what we got here. We have another cake. So this must be a box variant. Uh, we have two different cakes. Paint looks the same. 2014. They're only a couple months apart. Uh, whew. I can't even tell why i kept two i think it there might have just been a, a paint variant or something something's different between these two i just don't remember why but you know what i don't care i love that pop so much i don't mind having two of them <laughs> okay 
We have a BMO Noor. That one's amazing. We have the Flame Princess. That one's really cute. We have Princess Bubblegum. Absolutely love that one. Love Princess Bubblegum. She's a great character. Uh, we have Splinter. Splinter's awesome. That's a keeper. These are all keepers, if I didn't mention it. Uh, Lumpy Space Princess. Absolutely love this one. That's one of my wife's favorite characters. Uh, Blushing Bemo. That one's adorably awesome, too. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Only two. I'm, you know what? No, I'm not selling them. I'm going to keep them. I would regret selling these turtles. I'm keeping those, too. <laughs> Can't break up the collection. This is an all-keeper box, but... You know what? Not the end of the world. I kind of knew this box would be a keeper as soon as I realized what was in it. Okay, this row, I am at capacity. I filled it up. But, but I think in this little space right here, I can fit a row of smaller boxes. So up there, I have a bunch of that size boxes. And I moved a couple up here as well. So I think I'm going to move those all over to the side. Okay, we cleared out the two columns right here. We still have more to go through. I, uh, I kind of out of space though. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to get some boxes up there. And I'm going to organize up here to get some boxes. But yeah, I think I'm going to play some Tetris the next few days. Try to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, by the time you see the next video, I'll probably have this all rearranged. So we can go through some more boxes. Alright, see you soon.